Hello, miners, Munchmo, back with another weekly snapshot video. And this week they have done some really, 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 really cool things. Unfortunately, I can't really tell you about all of them exactly, but um, they've done something with commands and command blocks where you can actually get stuff. Let's see, slash give Munchmo 10, 100. No, 10, 10. Okay, so we do that, and then we hover over to it. See, look at that. You hover over to chat stuff, it actually shows you what, oh my god, that music is so loud. Hold on a sec. Oh, there. That'll hopefully do it. It's probably too quiet now, but I'm not bothered to fix it. But yeah, if you look, when you hover over it in the chat, it actually gives you the tool tip. So if we go give 10, one, see, it'll see, hover over, it says stone. See, and like if it had actually a tool tip, so like, um, let's look at a record here, inventory, oh. Inventory disc. So if we choose one of these music discs, like 2259, let's give one 2259, one. We hover over it, it'll tell you which music disc it is. How cool is that? And there's a lot more to this that the chat stuff, they made it so that you can actually click on things and have it run commands and all kinds of crazy crap. We're not going to be getting into all that today, although it's really cool. And that sound still seems extra, extra loud. Let's turn the friggin' music way down too, because I don't care about the music. Um, they've also added the ability to replace blocks, um, like, <sighs> whew, I love that. I, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to go into this. I can't, I don't know enough about the whole Minecraft stuff. I mean, I probably could if I spent time working on it, but boop, I, I don't think I can be good enough to, uh, actually make it work for you guys. There are a lot of other people who have great, um, thing showing you off what you can do with the command blocks and everything and how you can make moving blocks and things flying around and like blocks dropping out of the sky all sorts of crazy stuff but what i can show you is i can show you this this is really cool um let's get some flint out they have made it now so that you can make another portal any size you want Almost. It's like it's got to be minimum the size that it used to be. And maximum size is like 45 by 45. Let's check it out. You can make a freaking wide portal like this. And you can light it anywhere. I thought you could light it anywhere. I did it wrong. It's not tall enough. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, there's a minimum height that it has to be. It has to be at least this high, I think. But then it can be as wide as you want it to be. So let's see if this works now. There it goes. Pretty cool, huh? Now the question is, what happens when you create a crazy portal like this and go through it? Do you get a crazy portal on the other side? Let's find out. Hello, Nether. Nope, you just get a standard portal. Oh, well. But... You can do some pretty interesting stuff with this. So let me let me see what happens here. I've heard that if you make portals overlapping, they turn invisible. So what happens if we do that? Oh, how go? Oh, I the portal's still there, but how cool is that? How cool is that? So you can do some nifty looking stuff with portals. Um, like, like, check this out. Somebody suggested making a room. Okay, here we go. We can go. Oh, let's see. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Ah, I still did not mean to do that. So, actually, you know what? Screwed. I'm not going to do it here. But, I mean, how cool is this? You just make freaking interesting looking portals here. I wonder what else you can do here. Let, let's, I want to play with this stuff. But first, I need to get rid of some of this freaking grass here. Because there's just too much grass everywhere. You know? There's too much grass everywhere. Go, go away, grass. That's better. Okay, so. I guess it's not better. We still have... Oh, can I get a plains biome without grass, please? <laughs> Alright, so. Somebody was showing that if you built... Get out of here, chicken. If you built a room out of obsidian and lit it, the entire room would just sparkle. Which sounds so cool. 
I'm not going to do that. Or at least I'm not going to subject you guys to watching me do that. But I did want to do this and see how this looks. What happens if we take a portal? Let's see, is this odd number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. There we go. And the question is, do you also have to um, have the corners? I don't think you do. But let actually, let, let's test that real quick before we do this. So will a portal without the corners still work? Yep, still works. And then if we do a larger portal without the corners, does that work? That's what I want to see here. Because, you know, it didn't used to be you have it, it always was the case that you didn't actually have to have the corners. Okay, that works. So now what happens if we light this center block here? Whoosh! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's uh, kill this portal. Oh, did you see that? Is this still a portal at all? No. But did you see what happened there when I did that? Let's let's light this one, and let's light this one, and let's break this block. So... Ooh, fun with portals. You can actually have... Does this work, though? That still works! Oh my goodness! Ooh, what can we do with breaking portals like that? Um... Let's see what happens when we do something like this. This is really cool. I like the fact that you can make portals of all different shapes and sizes here. I mean, there are still the minimums. All right, and then what if we go... Actually, hold on, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um, minimum size, okay. Let's see here, because it has to have your obsidian surrounding, I guess. And it's supposed to have to be a full rectangle, I think, is what it is. Right, so okay. If we light this, this is not going to work, I bet you. Right? Nope, doesn't work. But if we go like this, and then we go like this, and we go... That works. That works. And that works. But then if we go... Ah, that kills it. Oh, well... I was hopeful. And what if we go like this? I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with this stuff. I think it's really cool that you can do this stuff here. But with this one, I wonder what we could do here. Huh. Maybe if we... Here, let's kill this one completely here. Let's kill this entire thing here like this. And let's go... Dude, get out of my way. Actually, no, what if we do, like, this here? That isn't going to work either, is it? Eh, we'll see, right? Fun with portals. Oh, wait, that's a different game. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, here we go. All right, let's light this puppy up and see what we can do with it. Boop, boop, and a boop. And let's see, are they all going? They are all going now. So if we go like this, that whole thing just disappeared. And that whole thing, and they're all gone. Huh, interesting. So if we, it, does it matter what order we light them in? And what order we destroy them in? So that's gone. And that destroyed everything, even though that one should still have been... Wow, okay, this is some interesting stuff here. See, that didn't affect it. You light this one, and then that one, and... It's kind of cool that you can do this weird stuff with it. I like the way the portals look. They're all, like, sinking into each other and stuff. So, okay, what if we break this one? Why does that one break the everything? Is it because these guys are too close together? I don't know. Mm. 
Yes, I'm just having too much fun with this, so... Okay, we got one there, we got one there, we got one there, we got one there. <laughs> got one there. And what happens if we break that block? That, these two are still going, but the rest of these just turned off. How weird is that? Okay, light. Okay, so if we break this one, it kills... Oh, okay, that one's going. And then if we break that one, it kills... Huh. I don't know. But anyway, so as you can see, there are all sorts of different crazy things you can do with portals here. I remember, you can, uh, you can do this. Like this. And then put a portal here as well. And light them both. You can't even see that there's a portal there. You just see the sparkles. How cool is that? So you could technically not even have any of these things going, and yet you still have an active portal right there. I don't know why it's like that. I don't think it used to be like that with the regular portals, but hey, it took me out of this one. How weird. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Fun with nether portals. Hopefully one of these days they'll make it so you can make a really big one that's all round and stuff. But right now, it has to be rectangular. Oh, well. But that's all I'm going to cover in today's weekly snapshot. I know I'm not going to be going over the really cool stuff with the block replacement. But if you want to see that, go check out somebody else's channel that who, who probably done a lot better than me. Um, but what else, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. I think I covered most of the important things, which is this. <laughs> the nether portal craziness. Oh, this is awesome. Get out of my inventory. Get Go back to the nether where you belong, Obsidian. You too, lava. Get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.